the classics, simply the most historical cycling races in the world. Their heritage and fame began in the early 19th century, growing stronger each of the subsequent 100 years. Bora Argon 18, the German professional cycling team, was right in the mix for this popular series of one-day cycling races. This is sind die größten Rennen der Welt, die am härtesten umkämpft sind und sehr viele enthusiastische Zuschauer. Es sind jede Woche zwei, drei, vier Rennen gefahren, immer wieder auf wiederkehrenden Strecken. Bora Argon 18 featured in three races, the Tour of Flanders, Celle de Bretz and Paris-Roubaix. The most astonishing element of the classics are the cobblestone roads. Hundreds of kilometers in tough and muddy terrain distinguish the well-trained riders and push the durability of them and their bikes to the limit. The frame is uh, specially made for, for Roubaix and it has a bigger clearance for bigger tires at the back fork and also at the front so we can use the 28mm tires. Yeah. They use normally in the front on the cranks they use a bigger small chain ring and then we use the special pedals. Mostly everyone is going to use double handlebar tape and then some of the guys they like to use additional brakes. Bora Argon 18's values are focused on team spirit and value of relationships within the team. Each rider has six bikes, serviced by mechanics before and after the training. It's critical that every rider has a well-serviced and reliable bike, which will carry him to the finish line without technical problems. Our relationship to the mechanics has to be really good and from my side it is really good. I, I trust these guys because they do an amazing job here. They came, we came here with uh, three mechanics. They prepare our bikes the whole day just for this uh, one race. The Tour of Flanders, the most distinct of the hilly cobblestone classic race, was the first big goal for the team. The route of 324 kilometers kicked off in the stunning city of Bruges, winding its way through the wonderful landscapes and villages of Belgium, like Cluisbergen, Ronza, and the famous uphill stage at Carmont, before finishing in Oudenaarde. as well as the relationship between riders and mechanics, ensuring proper nutrition and qualitative and quantitative training are key factors to guarantee a good performance. Giving yourself the proper nutrition before a race is key. Scott Thwaites, the talented British rider of Bora Argon 18, who performed in the top 20 leading pack at the Tour of Flanders, explains. 
For the race, I'll eat porridge with some mixed nuts and some fruit, and usually an omelette. And the reason I do this is because porridge is very high in carbohydrate, used as energy throughout the day and also helps to repair the muscles as they're broken down. And during races, it's quite, quite similar things, natural made products from the physios with rice cakes and things like that. And also obviously the energy products from Bourne that we, that we have provided. We have bars and gels that provide the energy that we need. Riding the cobblestones on a race is technically and physically demanding. Steep, slippery uphill, long, muddy straights and dangerous downhill legs test the skills of riders. Experience in riding the testing cobblestones and preparing the best training approach for such races sets the leading pack apart. You need to keep the control of your bike. Uh, you need to feel if you have grip on the ground and bring the power solid on the cobbles to bring you forward, you know. Not wasting cobbles, but jumping around. Um, make sure you stick on the ground and have contact and the power to, to the street and not for nothing, you know. Sal de Bretz was the second race of the week, a loop of 208 kilometers, starting in Antwerp. A massive challenge for the ambitious riders and great experience for the riders who want to make their break away. Sam Bennett finished 12th and proved once more that Bora Argon 18 is one of the elite teams in world cycling. The classics have a special atmosphere, especially here in Belgium, where everything's decided on the day. It's not like waiting three weeks, like in a Grand Tour. And I think the, 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 the culture, the country, everyone turns out for it. The profile of the Bora Argon 18 riders and managers is more than familiar to all, spectators, fans and journalists. They are more than willing and happy to sign autographs for their young fans, give interviews to broadcasters and have fun with spectators. The riders aren't just professional athletes, they are a family. Primär ist es einmal wichtig, dass man respektvoll miteinander umgeht, dass man auch die Tugenden und die Eigenheiten des Gegenüber mal akzeptiert und nicht alles bis ins Detail ausdiskutiert. Aber äh, mit ein bisschen einem guten Fingerspitzengefühl kann man das schon führen. Paris Roubaix was the last of the cobblestone classics for the spring season. Over 50 kilometers of cobblestones, more than 250 kilometers of intense cycling, and hundreds of watts of power were on the menu for the riders. Zachary Dempster, the Bora Argon 18 rider, secured the team's best result in this race of survival. The season opens with the classics and the Bora Argon 18 is now looking ahead to the biggest goal of the season, the Tour de France. All the team, supporters, riders and managers will be in France ready to give their best and profile themselves once more in the peloton. It's a real privilege to be able to ride in this race and get to test yourself in the hardest race against the best riders in the world and I'm not, I'm not ever going to um, take that for granted. Tomorrow is no exception. We ride natural, 